Let us imagine for a second that you were in a position financially that meant that you could buy a yacht and take your friends and family on a world cruise. What would you need to consider before buying your yacht? For me, at the very forefront of my mind would be the boat's range, its seaworthiness and, of course, its reliability. Introducing the Nordhaven 120. Nordhaven describes the 120 as, quote, a vision of optimum design, advanced engineering and spacious, luxurious life on board. The Nordhaven 120 beckons those who consider the world, their playground and the ocean a home. As you would expect with a Nordhaven, this boat is for people who are serious about cruising the seven seas in comfort. Not only will the Nordhaven 120 take her guests anywhere they want to go in comfort, but passengers will be safe in the knowledge that the Nordhaven N120 is a world-class ABS certified yacht. The Nordhaven 120 has a fantastic owner's cabin and can comfortably accommodate eight guests as she cruises around the world, visiting the sort of places that you would typically only ever see on the National Geographic Channel. Many consider the Nordhaven 120 to be a personal luxury ocean liner with her four decks four king-size suites and, of course, her owner's retreat. The Nordhaven 120 has a length overall of 120 foot, which is 36.75 meters. She has a nine foot draft and can carry 17,500 gallons of fuel, which is 66,000 244 litres. She is powered by twin MTU Series 200 M72s. So if you are already a subscriber to my YouTube channel then you've probably realised by now that quite a few of my videos are about Nordhavens and there's a very good reason for that. As someone who has served both in the Royal Navy and for the RNLI on a coastal crew I have a passion when it comes to boats that will keep you safe when the weather takes a turn for the worst. And with the Nordhaven, regardless of the size of the hull, you always get a sense that if you get into some bad weather, then the Nordhaven really will look after you. A few other things impressed me about Nordhaven. Not least the fact that should you be lucky enough to own one, then you will join a very privileged and very special community. I always find that the Nordhaven community look out for one another. There are various groups on social media that you can join if you own a Nordhaven where you can share hints and tips in terms of the best places to go, things to look out for and just learning from one another. Um, but at essence, I think with a Nordhaven, you just always seem to get the feeling that regardless of what the weather throws at you, then you're not gonna be put in any significant danger. I mean, you know, I talk as someone who, I've been on a frigate in a Force 12 gal and stood after the boat looking forward down the passages and actually seeing the, the ship bend, so much so that you could reach up and grab the overhead pipes that were maybe 14 foot above you and be lifted off the ground as the boat bends. So I've been in some really gnarly weather and I think for me, that's why I love Explorer yachts. That's why I love boats that are designed, you know, to really take on uh, the heavy inclement weather. Uh, and that's probably why so many of my videos are about Nordhavens because for me, they encapsulate everything that a boat 
should do if you are going to be taking that boat into some really rough weather. But anyway, that's enough waffling from me. I just want to thank you for subscribing to the channel. I think we're nearly up to 1,100 subscribers now, which is fantastic. Uh, please like the video if you like it, of course. Uh, remember to subscribe if you're, a, um, if you're new here, if this video has been recommended to you. And hopefully in the not too distant future, I'll be able to actually visit some boats and just have a little look around and, you know, shoot some footage. Uh, because the last six months, you know, most of my videos, I've had to kind of use uh, stock footage and, you know, photos that are on uh, the Boat Builders website. So I really would like the opportunity to go out there and film, you know, some of my own footage um, and just talk about boats in general. All of you know that the boating and yachting community is a very close-knit community uh, and it's one that I really enjoy being a part of. So once again, thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you for listening to me waffle on. If you have any boats or if you've got any yachts that you'd like me to feature on my channel, uh, leave a note in the comment uh, and I will read them and get back to you. So once again, thanks for watching, fair winds and following seas.